all ready to talk about it? Are you ready to freaking talk about it? Buckle up, because we have got so much to discuss today. Welcome back. Get yourself a drink. Get yourself a cocktail. Get yourself a mocktail. We're talking about it. We are talking about all of the the crazy Bravo news happening right now. And let me tell you about it. There is so much going on. We are talking about the Real Housewives of Atlanta. We are talking about Bethany Frankel. And we are talking about how I feel about the Real Housewives of New Jersey, how I feel about the season, and so much other fun, juicy topics because there's one big topic going on in Jersey that we really need to, we really need to break it down. So where should we start? How about, let's start over in Atlanta. So the Real Housewives of Atlanta have finally started filming. There was a very long hiatus with kind of what are they going to do with the cast. Um, as you all know, Portia Williams is, or Portia, Portia Gabati, she's back. We've got Cynthia Bailey returning as a friend of. Kenya Moore is back and a, a handful of newbies. So the news I want to talk about involves Kenya Moore and... What happened at one of her Kenya Moore hair product events? All right, let's break it down. This is what I've heard. This is what I've read. Word on the street is during this event, Kenya Moore unveiled posters. And those posters showed one of the newest cast members, Brittany, in a very in a very <laughs> kind of like, um, I don't even know how to even go about saying this. She was giving some man fellatio. I'm not making this up. This is like what is being said happened. That she showed posters of Brittany giving a man a job. She was giving a man a job. Now, I am gooped. I am gagged. My I read this and I'm like, no. And Kenya Moore recently like came out and said, you know, I would never, you know, do revenge porn. I would never do something like that, blah, blah, blah. But leaked audio has come out where she calls Britney an escort I don't know if this is true. Oh, sidebar, sidebar. One of the one of the film camera per people said that he's never seen something like this ever happen and his jaw was on the ground and couldn't even take any like pictures. He was like a photographer or something or some person part of the crew. And I'm like, if this is like even remotely true, <sighs> there's just a line that you don't cross. And if Kenya did this, if she, allegedly, if she did this, it's like a line that you just don't cross. You don't, it's like stooping to like the lowest of the low bottom of the barrel level. Like you do not one steal pictures that don't even like belong to you. Like let's say Brittany has an OnlyFans, like whatever, like do you boo, like make your money, like who gives a fuck? You don't pay a subscription for OnlyFans and then like steal the pictures or steal the videos or you just don't do that. It's so gross and so disgusting, but I guess we kind of need to see how all of this, you know, plays out when the season airs. I'm really, will I watch? 
maybe, I'm going to say this. I have fallen off the Real Housewives of Atlanta bandwagon. They're really just not doing it for me. And I'm really kind of like pissed off that they didn't bring Sheree back. Like, you let Sheree go? Like, Sheree, come on. Bravo. What are you doing? Apparently, Andy said that he is not happy with the fact that there's no more Sheree and, you know, has hope that in the future she will come back or, you know, whatever. Something. He's not happy about it. I'm hoping that at some point Sheree comes back because I really like Sheree. And if you haven't watched Sheree on The Traders, don't sleep on The Traders, honey. Do not sleep on The Traders. The Traders is where it's at. Maybe I should talk about The Traders next and the cast because... <laughs> Season 3 cast is whew, bomb. So that is what's going on over in Atlanta. So now let's shift gears and let's talk about Bethany Frankel, y'all. What in God's fucking green earth is going on with Bethany? Her and this Chanel thing, it's going on one video way too much. So let's say you don't know what's going on with Bethany, all right? I'm gonna lay the scene for you. So Bethany, a couple of weeks ago, was in Chicago. She was in like sweatpants, you know, her typical attire when you see her on her YouTube channel, if you've watched that chaotic mess. So in Chicago, she goes into Chanel, doesn't even go into Chanel, kind of like cracks the door. And this is all from her video that she made about it, cracks the door. And one of the Chanel people came out and was like, do you have an appointment? She's like, no, I don't have an appointment. I have a credit card and a sandwich and I'm ready to, to drop some money. He's like, yeah, you really need a, you really need an appointment. We can't let you in. And let me tell you, y'all, she has made, I think, 15 videos about the fact that Chanel pretty womaned her. And I get it. Maybe one video, but she... Where's Sutton? Let the mouse go. Let the mouse go, Bethany. It's Chanel. Like... It's not that big of a deal. But then here's what she did. Like the next day she got herself in full glam and went right into Chanel. And I, I don't know what she's trying to do. Is she trying to make a point? Is she trying to stick it to one of the biggest fashion brands in the world? Like I just don't understand what her motive is for taking this whole Chanel thing to like a level that it should have never even been brought into. Like, say your piece, let the fucking mouse go, bitch. Let the fucking mouse go, for real. And I remember something in one of her like videos when she was like having all this fucking beef with Bravo and suing them and reality TV reckoning. Yeah, she's the one that started all of that. And she said, I am the voice of the people. Bitch, no, you are not. I'm the people. I'm the people. And I don't have Chanel money. So I don't know what people you're talking about. But it's just almost like she's off the rails, guys. She's off the freaking rails. And I don't understand. Like something happened. I don't know what it is. Like, I've been re-watching Roni season 7 through 10, and I'm on season 10 now when she had the whole Be Strong, and that's when her and Carol had that riff. And she just seemed... Like, Bethany has always had this chaotic energy and just a little mm, on edge, you know? Like a... Mm, mm, I don't even know how to describe it. 
But there's something happening right now where the chaotic energy went from, oh, this is fun and cute and hilarious and, like, funny to, ugh, girl, look at your life. Look at your choices. Like, what is going on? It's really annoying to watch her anymore. I mean, remember when she made that weird video of her in the hotel room eating the seafood? Uh, girl, like, here is what. Someone on her team needs to say, girl, you have dragged out this whole Chanel thing for as long as it can possibly go. Like, you need to get a hobby. Is she bored? I don't understand. Does she not do her Be Strong initiative? Like, there's so many fucking bigger fucking fish to fry in the goddamn world. Like, what's going on in Gaza right now? Like, and you're over here bitching and moaning about Chanel? Honey, enough. You have got to let it go. It's, it's not cute, nor is it entertaining. So, that's what's going on with Bethany. Fucking what? Now. Now. I want to talk about the Real Housewives of New Jersey. I feel like we need to get comfortable for this. Because there is just so much happening with Jersey. And I really just want to, like, give my thoughts about it. First... There is not going to be a reunion for the Real Housewives of New Jersey. Now, that's giving me Roni vibes. We all know what happened when Roni didn't have a freaking reunion. They recasted the entire goddamn show. Now, granted, there's no, you know, racism lawsuits. There's no really big undertones like what was going on with Roni um mainly Ramona versus Ebony but we also saw what happened when there's no reunion now let's uh, I am really kind of am I watching Jersey yes yes I am because I am a true Bravo fan okay I truly do I think, how can I put this? How can I put this? Every time that a new season of Jersey is getting ready to air, I think this is it. This is the season where it's going to rise to the occasion. It's going to be revamped. A, a breath of fresh air is going to be like blown into, re, blown into, what the fuck am I trying to say? Blown into Jersey. Like, it's gonna have this, like, reckoning, like, ugh, Jersey's back. And then it turns out it's a big turd. Every season, we get the same recycled intro looks where only one person is in a new outfit. We get the same intro music, the same intro cards, the same cast photo, it's just recycled, 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 and photoshopped, and photoshopped, and photoshopped with, like, the minusculest of minuscule changes made. Like, it's like Roni, Roni, it's like Jersey is like the egg, ugly stepchild that no one's putting any effort into it. Like, every other season has major updates. Like, it's just a whole new season, and Jersey is just, like, it's so stale. It's so stale, and it's the same freaking thing every season. Melissa and Teresa don't like each other. Well, this season, they really don't like each other. And then we have the Dolores softball game. Okay, we've seen this same softball game. I literally just spit all over my microphone. That is disgusting. 
we get the same softball game. I've, I've seen it for three seasons. Another thing, there's no cast trip this year. There's no cast trip this season. Red flag, red flag, and now there's not a reunion. Now, I did hear that the cast was supposed to go to the Berkshires, but the house burnt down. You know, none of this would have happened if they just went to Bluestone Manor. You know what I'm saying? They should have just went to Bluestone Manor. I'm sure Dorinda would have been happy to host all of them. I don't think she would, though. I don't think she would. So this is what's going on with this season. All right, we're going to break it down. Teresa and Rachel feuding because Teresa called Rachel's husband the the biggest drug dealer in Bergen County, and she is pissed. Rachel is pissed and is just like, really? Really? You know that he's not a drug dealer anymore. He was a drug dealer when he was 17. Like, come on. Teresa isn't the brightest crayon in the box. I'm just saying. She's not. But she knew that he's not a drug dealer now. And we all know Teresa's not one with words, okay? She's not. So they're feuding. And then Marge, I love the Marge, but I don't love the Marge this season. It's just, she's very upset with Jackie because Jackie didn't give her a copy of her book. An unreleased copy of the book. Very upset about that. Marge is also upset that Jackie is getting close to Teresa. And Jen Fessler is getting close to Teresa. She doesn't like it. There's definitely like sand... Sands drawn in the line? <laughs> Lines drawn in the sand. It's just... A lot of this drama is so stupid and so pointless, and it just seems so forced. Like, Teresa and Melissa will not speak to each other. They don't want to speak to each other. They don't want anything to do each with each other. And, you know, finally, fucking finally, we all saw this coming. Like, good. Do not be friends. Do not be in each other's lives. Done. Be done with it. But... This tension, I think, has drawn a wedge into the group because the group is so divided. Everybody is on teams and sides, so much so that during BravoCon, the Real Housewives of New Jersey panel had to be separated into two separate panels because the cast didn't want to like be with each other as a whole. And I just don't think it can continue. I really don't think that Jersey can continue the way it's going right now. I cannot, with another season of a softball game, I cannot with stupid fucking petty drama. I can't with stupid fucking storylines. Like, Jennifer Aiden had a dog birthday party. This is where we're at, people. That we are having parties for dogs because the cast doesn't want to film together. Like, it is so beyond exhausting to even, like, watch Jersey anymore. It really is. And Jersey was so, so iconic. Like, Jersey, it just, it's not what it used to be. I think the cast has gotten way too comfortable I think they think that they can keep coasting along like this and nothing's going to happen. Here's what I think needs to happen. All right. Get rid of the whole damn cast. Get rid of them. Give Teresa a spinoff show with her and Louie and the girls. Give, give Teresa a spinoff show. Move on. Get rid of everyone else. Get rid of everyone else and start no, or cancel it. Or keep maybe one person, keep Teresa. And I'd say bring back Danielle Staub. Bring back 
Kim D. Bring back Dina. Dina would never fucking do it, though. Like, she is done. I'd say bring back Jacqueline, but I think... I mean, Jacqueline doesn't even live in New Jersey anymore. She lives in um, Vegas, so she can't even do it. I'd say definitely bring back Danielle Staub. Bring back Kim D. And just something needs to happen with Jersey because I'm really bored with it. I'm really upset with, with, with it. Now, going back to the fact that there is no reunion, Andy and has said that the reunion, all the reunions, there has to be some sort of resolution. And because the cast is so divided, doesn't really want to be around each other, doesn't want to talk to each other, doesn't want to film together, no resolution is going to even be had. So I think the reasoning is why are we going to pour all this money into the reunion, put millions and millions of dollars into production when nothing's really going to get accomplished, period. Like, what's the point? Now, he did say, and I don't know if y'all have watched the that intro to the season premiere, that trailer with the, I'd like to call it the, the Last Supper, that Andy has said that that scene right there, that Last Supper, is going to be the finale and the reunion all wrapped into one. So I may not be a fan of, you know, this season overall. I'm just, why don't we just cancel everything in the middle and just show the finale? Because y'all fucking know that's all we want anyway. Just give me the goddamn finale. I want to see The Last Supper, honey. Now, Andy also did say that they're cooking up something else in lieu of a reunion. I don't even know what what that even is. Like, what bullshit are you going to feed us? I think Jersey needs to go on a very long hiatus and they need to figure it out. And let me tell you, when it comes back, if it comes back, I want to feel like Jersey has arrived. Because Jersey is a wet fucking fart right now. And I'm freaking over it. Figure it out. Andy Cohen, figure it out. So, craziness going over... Going over over yonder in Atlanta with showing pictures of people getting blowjobs. <laughs> we have Bethany Frankel, who will not shut the fuck up up about Chanel and then we have the dumpster fire that is Jersey y'all I want y'all to sound off in the comment section below let me know your thoughts I am back the plan is to do like a video a week maybe we'll see I'm back and I'm really trying to do something different, more laid back. I'm really liking this whole podcast feel. It's easy. We can talk. It's fabulous. I've got a whole new, a whole new set. I'm back, baby. And if, do me a solid. If you are not subscribed, subscribe to my channel, please. That's what we've got today. Give this video a big thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to my channel, do all the, all the things. And you know what? I'll catch you guys in the next video. Talk to you later. Bye.